Good evening and welcome back once again. If you joined us last time, we had a very comfortable 3-0 win at home to Levante. Top of the table clash and we come out the victors. We've got a game only a few days after that match. There's probably going to be some tired legs out there. Let's jump into the, the lineup and see who we can start today. Okay, so we've had to make some changes. I thought we would because of some tired legs. I'd really love to keep playing Bajer. He is starting to get tired. Do you know what? No, I'm going to put him on. I'm going to put him on the left for Arcas. I'm going to do it. Yeah, give Arcas a rest. Brought in Rice. He can play defensive mid. Herrera's back, which is good. Had to mix around some of the defence as well. Brought in some players that we don't play as much. And we had to drop Schubert. He is on a downward red. A little bit tired as well. So we've brought in Giza, who luckily is on good form. Really need to get a, a second keeper, though, just as a backup. We'll jump into the match and see how we get on. And we're actually playing in our third kit today, which you'll see in a moment. There we go. I just thought I'd give it a go. I don't think I've played in it yet. I really like the second kit, which is like the the reddish pink colour. But um, Albacete's home kit's got a touch of red on it. So I thought I'll go for the third kit as a change. I suppose it's good that we haven't had to make mass changes. Yeah, well, we have had, have had to make a few. Mainly the defence, really, but they're not our strongest sort of area anyway. Um, Lucky the likes of Bajer is still playing. Who, I, like I say, I did think about just resting. That's got to be a foul, is it? No, it's not. Nicely kept in there. We could have just let it go out. Course, Perez, Vieira. Oh, not enough power in it. He did score two in the last one, and he scored a wonder goal for the the opener. See, that's a foul. When I get sort of pushed off the ball, I don't get it. Um. Anyway, I mean, hopefully you did watch the last match. If you didn't, go and check it out because it was really good. Some brilliant goals. The first one especially, but a bit of a mix up there. We have Yera scored like a 25 yarder. Then he scored a second, which was a really nice team goal. Um Bajer got a couple of assists. Need to concentrate here. Nicely worked. Bajer's not much space there. Did well in the end. Nicely played out of Vieira. Here's Gyoza, the right back. Not a bad ball, actually. Bichet. Ah, too near the keeper. Just trying to fire it in, but placement might have been better. Take your time, maybe a little bit as well. And again, Zosi didn't score in the last match, but he played really well. He did well holding up the ball, laying off simple passes for the wingers and the attack midfielders to get in. A bit like that. Um, that's a foul. No, it's not. That wasn't a foul, actually. I'm, I'm just talking rubbish. It is frustrating, though, that... I don't know what it is. That they do seem to get free kicks for the same sort of tackles that they put in on me. Um, which they don't get punished for. Hmm. Maybe we just need to be a little bit more careful with our tackles. Bajer's already looking a bit tired, I've got to admit. Herrera. Oh, lovely ball to Xerxes. Oh, just... His touch wasn't the best. And then he gets it back. Wonderful pass from Herrera, though. We did rest him in the last match. He wasn't dropped as such. Carlos Perez. Nah, straight to the keeper. I was trying to use the run on my right just to draw away the defender. Which worked. But the uh, shot was far too close to the keeper. Bajer's getting a lot of the ball. He often does actually when he plays. He's got a habit of picking up space. Xerxes now. All sorts going on in the box there. Can't quite win the ball either. Nicely won by Herrera. That's poor. Did all the hard work and then played a poor pass. 
Herrera. Oh. Keeper nearly fumbled that one. Plenty of power behind it, but, you know, it wasn't accurate, really. Straight at the keeper. And he's just palmed it out. It's offside. Oh, all good. Jet. Carlos Perez. Well blocked. Not surprised. Yeah, can he turn? He can. Oh, how has he blocked that? That's what I mean about the blocks. That's that's. Yeah. Anyway, lovely turn from Cher when he gets it. Snapshot, and that defender's just come from nowhere to block it. Here's Herrera. Plays that well to Vieira. Uh, get pushed off the ball. Nicely won back there. Sixty surrounded. But here's Vieira, and there it is, one nil, and again, Zixi key, but Vieira finding the goal. You know, a lot of our play, play is going through Xerxes. He actually gets an assist this time with that pass. Nicely held up. Nice little pass. First touch was key. Opens up his body and he slots it past the keeper. And that's 3-2 and two now for Vieira. So far. And not too far before half time, and that's really nice because, you know, going in half time and nil nil when you've been on top, which we've had many times, um, it can be a little bit frustrating. And then you start to think, well, what was if I don't get one in the first ten minutes of the second half? And yeah, oh, lovely work from Herrera there. Ah, I just couldn't quite find the ball. It was a, a tight pass to get through. Get through that defence. Nicely played from Vieira though. Oh, it's well wide. Who was that? Was that Pajer, maybe? It wasn't. Anyway, not long left. Herrera's been playing really well. Just saw a stat that I think he's um, had the most dribbles or dribble distance for all that. Of your Vieira now, Zirxi. Oh, wide. With his left. But there it is, half time. Could have had a 2 0 lead there. And just looking at the stats 67% possession. So almost exactly two thirds possession. Eight shots with five being on target. But crucially, we managed to get that goal in around about the 36th minute, I think it was. And this is where we've got to not rely on the defence a little bit, but we want the defence to step up and keep more clean sheets. Because you can't always be scoring two or three goals. And uh, There's been too many matches where we have scored and then we've just let sloppy goals away. So let's not do that this time. Fingers crossed. Here's Vieira. And Herrera, they've got a nice little combo going. And there he is, Vieira. Oh, wonderful save. Yeah. Oh, Zirxi, I thought he was going to get on the end of that. That time it was um, justifiably fired across. Could be caught out here, though. God, I've got no pace on these players. Oh, it just goes wide. Not sure why that's a free kick to us. It wasn't a free kick. Would have taken the goal kick anyway. Nah, 
That was poor from Perez. I was just trying to slow down a bit and then speed up and try and just accelerate past him, but could be in trouble here. Well, Vassil, if that's how you pronounce it, he's got a little bit of pace on him. That was good, uh, good work there. And Xerxes again linking up well. Xerxes, oh, just lost it. Vieira, Bajer, and it's just deflected in at the keeper's arms. Took the pace out of it. And they're sort of playing the quick long balls now. Firing it out from the keeper. And it's worked well a couple of times and maybe done themselves out of a chance of a counter attack there, or maybe not. Nicely played by Cofield. And a really nice ball to Bajer. Zixi again managing to hold up the ball. Oh, Carlos Perez should have taken that. That was a good pass. That's poor, poor defending there. Good block in the end. And again, what's Carlos Perez doing? He's missed a couple there. He's, the ball's been into his feet. But a nice ball there. Ah, Zixi couldn't quite get it. Trying to get it through to Carlos Perez. Didn't realise what the time was. We haven't made any subs, and it does like we're going to really at this stage. Carlos Perez needs to be a little bit stronger sometimes. Ooh, it was nearly an own goal. The keeper headed it. I don't really think that would have been a back pass, but. Herrera. Nice ball now, Herrera. Xerxes. Oh, lovely effort. Slightly miss hit it in the end, but really nice pass from Herrera. It was the run more than anything. Lovely run. Yeah, nice effort. It was difficult technique there to finish that. I just thought there was no point in making any changes at this stage, really. Good tackle from Vieira. Oh, and a really nice pass to Perez. Can he get Xerxes in? He can, but Xerxes needs a little bit more strength there. Lovely ball again. Perez, straight to the keeper. Good tackle. Fabio Vieira was absolutely out on his legs there. Lovely play. Pierre. Oh, wonderful save. I think it did everything right there. Now, could we pay for this? Good tackle. Good tackle there. Of course, Perez manages to actually keep the ball that time. And he's in. Herrera. Oh, straight at the, uh, the defender. Oh, and it's out. But there we go. We have won the match again, a lot of more of a tight affair than the last one, but um, we'll get it in the end, and Fabio Vieira again on the score sheet. And just looking at the stats, possession all the way there, they had no shots on target, or any shots at all. They did look a little bit dangerous on the counter-attack, but we, they just never managed to get that sort of final killer blow. But yeah, well deserved by ourselves, we absolutely dominated that game, and we've kept the clean sheet, which I'm really happy with. And no surprise with the ratings that Fabio Vieira's man of the match. 
Xerxy, I agree, he played really well. He got the assist as well. I think all of the midfield, you know, played their part. And look at that, big changes. Levante must have got a draw because we've now leaped ahead of them by one point. And Leganes has actually, maybe they got a loss as well because um, they're now three points behind ourselves. And we've actually got a, an offer in for Gaius, who I wasn't really thinking of selling. However, I'm not really too worried about the transfer fee in a way, but of our players, I mean, 175,000, it's not a massive amount compared to players that we'll buy, but it would, ma would make a little bit of a chunk in that. We're not going to accept that, I don't think. What we'll do is we will renegotiate and we'll do it. Um, I'll not cut away. So his mark value is 2.8. Yeah, maybe we'll go for like just under 2.3. We'll do that. But that's it for today, guys. Our next match is at home and we're playing Granada. It's the last match in November. So that January transfer window is only a few matches away, really. Let's see if we can do any business in that. But first priority, we'll make Herrera a permanent signing at some stage. Once again, really appreciate the support. Drop some comments down below. I like having the interaction with you guys. Drop a like if you did enjoy the video and please join us for the, the next match. But yeah, let's hope it's a really good one. Again, it was a tough match today. Got the win, clean sheet. Let's hope we can keep that streak continuing. Thank you again and I'll speak to you all soon.